Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Tom's Gadget Garage. Today I am super excited because we're gonna be doing a full end-to-end -end review of the newly released Awesome Gallop dual motor full suspension electric scooter. Now, Awesome does claim that this scooter will get upwards of 41 miles an hour and 55 miles of theoretical range on a single charge. And if you've been following my content over the last several weeks, you'll know that I've been putting the Awesome Gallop through various rigorous tests to help determine whether or not this scooter is worth the $1,300 price tag that it currently commands. So without further delay, let's jump into the review. The awesome Gallop was delivered to my door without so much as a scratch from shipping. Overall, the scooter was packaged really well. In terms of assembly, getting the awesome Gallop together was a breeze. All I had to do was unfold the stem, lock it into place, and attach the handlebars. And the handlebars are attached by removing the handlebar plate, positioning them into place, and clamping the plate down with the four hex bolts. Easy peasy, and that's it. One thing I really like about the Awesome Gallop is the fact that you can go into the Advanced Settings menu and customize your ride experience. Getting into this menu is as simple as pressing the function button three times. This will load up the Settings menu on the 4-inch LCD panel, and from here you can toggle between the menu items by single clicks of the same function button. Some of the more common settings you can manipulate are Units of Measure for Speed and Distance, Cruise Control, Zero and Non-Zero Start, maximum speed, display sleep time, start strength, and electronic brake strength. <clears throat> the setting I used right off the bat was start strength. Dialing this down reduces the intensity of hot off the line starts. The default setting of five was a bit too jerky for me, so I've dialed it down to level three. Scooter companies often advertise top speeds which are based off rider weight as well as a host of other environmental factors. On paper, the Awesome Gallop has a top speed of 41 miles an hour in speed mode 3, thanks to its dual brushless motors and 2400 watts of nominal power. Speed mode 2 gets you 28 miles an hour, and speed mode 1 offers up a breezy 15 miles an hour. You also have the ability to cruise around in single motor mode, which has slower top speeds at all levels except speed mode 1. To my surprise, I was actually able to get the scooter up to 42 miles an hour during a speed run, which is one whole mile an hour faster than advertised. And I'll tell you what, 42 miles an hour is really fast for a scooter. I personally am not interested in going any faster, but who knows, with time, everything changes. One thing I haven't mentioned is how torquey the awesome Gallop is. The throttle is super responsive, and if you press it too far too fast, you're gonna be getting the full 32 Newton meters of torque and burning some rubber with peel outs. Thankfully, that start strength is adjustable. Awesome advertises the max range for the Gallop at 55 miles. Now, keep in mind that this value is based on a rider of 143 pounds, cruising around on flat ground at a constant speed, and in 79 degree Fahrenheit temperatures. In the real world, no one is riding around at constant speed. During my testing, I spent most of my time in speed mode two, with some time dabbling in speed mode three. And along the way, there was lots of stop and go and full throttle action to get up to speed as quickly as possible. Even with this, I was able to get a solid 32 miles at an average moving speed of 20 miles an hour. If I were to have driven in speed mode one with gentler throttle action, I'm sure I could have squeezed out way more range. But for me, at the speeds I was cruising around at, 32 miles is a respectable real world figure. If night riding is on the agenda, the awesome Gallop has you covered with a total of 10 lights. Yep, you heard that right. These include headlights, two front facing lights, six side lights, and a tail light and brake light combo. Now, the headlight has plenty of power that inspires a lot of confidence at night, even riding at higher speeds. The side lights also double as your turn signals that are also very visible at night. My only complaint here is that I would have preferred to have turn signals higher up on the handlebars for even better visibility by others using the road. The awesome Gallop comes equipped with dual adjustable swing arm suspension with coil springs in the front and rear. 
The suspension is very plush and handles bumps and uneven terrain with ease. And I recently tested this out on a rutted dirt surface and was impressed by how comfortable the scooter was even on the most rugged of surfaces. Speaking of suspension, the Awesome Gallop is a powerhouse when used off the beaten path. I recently took this scooter up South Mountain in Phoenix, Arizona to test out its hill climb ability. While cruising around one of the lookouts, I decided to take a detour down a steep rocky trail to see how well it does in an actual off-road environment. All I can say is that I was thoroughly impressed with how well this scooter handled going down a steep embankment as well as its ability to muscle its way up the steepest part of the trail. The amount of torque this scooter has is unbelievable. I was able to power back up the trail in speed mode 2 with plenty of reserve. If you're looking for a scooter that can actually handle off-road environments and not just some simple flat dirt road, the Awesome Gallop has you covered. The Awesome Gallop comes equipped with two 10 inch by 3.15 inch tubed pneumatic tires. The tread is suitable for both on-road and off-road use and the traction on asphalt, dirt roads and wet pavement has been on point. Speaking of wet pavement, the Gallop does include two very effective mud guards over the front and rear tires which do an excellent job of keeping water and dirt that get kicked up by the tires from splashing you. And now that we're talking about water, it's important to call out that this scooter does have an IP54 rating. I actually had the uh, opportunity to test this out while recording some scenes for this video because it started pouring rain while I was riding around on the scooter. The LCD screen got wet, the deck got wet, everything got wet. I was riding through puddles and I've had no issues at all whatsoever with the scooter since. In terms of hill climbability, I was able to cover 1,955 feet in elevation gain on South Mountain with no issues at all. The Awesome Gallop handled tight mountain turns with ease and blasted through sections other scooters struggled with. At no point during the ride did I ever feel like I needed more power. Everything was perfect. Now saying all of that, it was the downhill portion of the mountain ride that got me the most excited. The road up South Mountain is windy and the only thing between you and the edge of a cliff is a guardrail. I was able to confidently ride upwards of 30 miles an hour around the curves in the road thanks in part to the grippy tires as well as the suspension that allows you to really lean into the curves. It literally felt like I was surfing down the mountain. The Awesome Gallop comes equipped with a 52 volt 23.2 amp hour removable lithium ion battery. Yep, you heard that right, this scooter has a removable battery, which makes charging this beast a breeze. I can park my scooter in the garage, remove the battery, and charge it indoors with the included 2 amp charger where I can safely monitor it. Awesome does include a single charger, but you do have the ability to double up on chargers, which brings the charge time down to 6 hours from empty. To remove the battery, simply turn the combination lock, lift the deck, unplug the battery, and remove. It's that simple. This scooter comes equipped with dual hydraulic disc brakes with 140mm rotors, as well as an electronic brake in each of the wheels. The brakes are very responsive and do incredibly well at bringing this 88 pound scooter to a stop in no time. They perform well on very steep declines off the beaten path, as well as when blazing down a mountain and needing to come to a stop quickly. The Awesome Gallop does come equipped with a brake light. When you pull on that brake lever, the rear taillight LEDs flash, letting those behind you know that you're slowing down. The Awesome Gallop comes with a collapsible stem that latches into the rear kick plate. The kick plate also has finger cutouts that you can use to lift the rear of the scooter. As I mentioned before, this scooter weighs in at over 88 pounds, so it's definitely not the lightest scooter out there. But I am able to load it up into the trunk of my car on my own, but doing that repeatedly does get tiring. If you're going to need to climb many flights of stairs with this scooter, I recommend looking at something a bit lighter. One thing that is really important for me is stem strength. The stem supports the handlebars that you hold on to for dear life. Bad stem design equals major trouble and safety concerns. It's arguably the single most important component of a scooter. 
The stem and locking assembly on the Awesome Gallop are robust and have held up to the off-road abuse I've put this scooter through. The Awesome Gallop has a well-organized cockpit that is neatly arranged and accessible. On the left handlebar you have the brake lever, headlight switch, turn signal controls, as well as a robust sounding horn. On the right handlebar you have the right brake lever, thumb throttle, dual and single motor buttons, as well as a function button for powering the scooter on or navigating through the menu on the scooter's computer. At the center of the cockpit you have your 4 inch LCD display as well as the keyed ignition switch for powering on the scooter. In terms of cost, the Awesome Gallop comes in at a jaw-dropping $1,299 with some of the latest deals. Had this scooter been available earlier this year at that price, I likely would have passed on my commuter scooter and opted for this instead. This is likely one of the best deals available on a scooter of this caliber. All right, everybody, so that is my take on the Awesome Gallop electric scooter. I'm gonna be honest with you here. When I first got this scooter, I didn't know what to expect because I wasn't familiar with the brand. After unboxing it, taking it on range tests, hill climb tests, acceleration, top speed tests, as well as testing out its off-road prowess, all I can say is I'm absolutely floored by the value that you get with the Awesome Gallop. If you're looking for an electric scooter, that'll get you around town at a higher clip that has plenty of range to back it up and has the flexibility of taking you off the beaten path, look no further than the awesome Gallop. If you want to learn more about this scooter or pick one of these bad boys up, check out the links in the description below. I've got a link directly to geekbuying.com as well as some exclusive discount codes to help with pricing and shipping. And just know that any purchase that you do make using those links helps support this channel so that we can continue to do reviews on the latest and greatest of personal electric vehicles. As always, thank you so much for tuning into Tom's Gadget Garage. We'll see you next time.